So one thing I want to know, do you guys go raw or not? That's what I want to talk about in today's video. Hey guys, I'm Gene Delasala with Audioholics. Let's talk about cable terminations. Do you go raw, bare wire, bare copper like we have here? Do you use bananas or do you use spades? Now I'm gonna tell you the answer of what most audiophiles tend to do from my experience is they seem to love spade connectors. I don't know what it is about spade connectors, but audiophiles have a wet dream over spade connectors and they don't like banana plugs. And I'm here to tell you, I generally don't agree with that notion. Yes, it's true that spade connectors have more surface area than a typical banana, but my experience with every spade connector I've ever tried, this is brand independent, even the best, most expensive ones they simply don't lock down and stay down on a speaker terminal as well as a, as a compression banana plug. So yes, you have a little bit more surface area with a spade, but if you're not making good contact, you're still going to have higher contact resistance. And I could show you this. I have a LCR meter, a Wayne Kerr analyzer, and I could show you how the resistance changes just by making good contact versus not. And in my opinion, your best bet, if you can't afford these expensive connectors, is really to go raw, at least on the speaker side. I would go bare wire on the speaker side and really hunker it down to the binding posts. But then on the amplifier side, I would use compression banana plugs. The reason why I don't like to go raw on the amplifier side is what happens is when you're making lots of connections is you get little whiskers. And any of these stray little whiskers that are from the conductors, if they touch each other from adjacent amplifiers, you could short your amplifier out and you could have a little smoky. And you don't wanna have a little smoky. You want the electronics to always work, not until you let the smoke out. So really I would use compression banana plugs on the amplifier side and either compression on the speaker side or bare wire. Now a lot of cables are really hard to use bare wire because if you go 10 gauge or lower, it gets really thick. And that's why I really do like, if I show you, again with these Kimbers, these compression banana plugs, they really make a locking connection. And once you screw them down, they don't come off. And that's really good. Now, if you guys do like spades, I will tell you the trick to a spade connector is to get a little wrench and just kind of give it a, a quarter turn on the terminal. Just make sure you don't damage the speaker terminal. And as long as you don't have someone bumping against it, I guess it's okay but I just had too many instances where I've gone behind a speaker and my foot accidentally hit the cable and the connector fell off or it was very loose or it was very intermittent. I'd be listening to music sometimes and all of a sudden I'd hear static and it turned out to be because the cable connection became loose. So as a result of that, I've kind of abandoned the whole spade connector and I've really embraced compression banana plugs. Now there's different kinds of com uh, compression banana plugs. Blue Jeans Cable, for example, has a compression banana. It's, it's a cheap, inexpensive version. It gets the job done. The only problem I have with those connectors is they send, the pin gets stuck sometimes. So when you loosen and tighten it back on, sometimes they don't come off. Whereas with these WBTs, they always come off just by screwing on or off. But they are very expensive. So sometimes you do get what you pay for. So I'm kind of curious what you guys do. Do you go raw? Do you use bananas or do you use spades? Give us your comments down below what your preference of connections are. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to it. Thumb it up. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audioholics. And until next time, my friends, keep listening. All right, you guys ready for a little science experiment? I've got basic cable here. I kind of tied the two ends together. Got my LCR meter and a pair of pliers. So let me show you what happens on the LCR meter just by changing the contact pressure on this cable. 
Okay, so right now I have the, the uh, cable kind of tied together loosely, and you can see the meter is showing about 100 milliohms of resistance. But as soon as when I take a pair of pliers and kind of honker it down, look at that. Drops to a third of the resistance, 31 milliohms. That goes to show you that when it's not just about the surface area, it's about the amount of pressure that the termination makes at the binding post. And it's harder, in my opinion, to get that kind of pressure with a spade than it is with a banana plug that has a compression termination. That's it.